All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all here right quick. This right here is pretty neat. Uh, probably wondering what is this. I'm still on the 10 time here. All these giant concrete beams. Well, this is when uh, back in, uh, gosh, I can't remember exact year when it happened, but just up north of where I'm sitting at right now, uh, there was a bridge across the river and they were building a new one and they needed to move a drag line to the other side and so the guy loaded up the drag line took a took off across the old bridge and this was a bridge that had a uh, iron cover over the top of it structure over the top of it well he hit that structure as he was crossing the bridge and he knocked the whole the whole bridge fell in the river so when they picked it all up they brought all the beams down here and just stacked them. I'm about, I'm probably a mile and a half from where the bridge actually fell in at. And, uh, but this is the old beam pile from all that. So I may or may not be fixing to put a cache out right here. We will see. So I thought I'd show you all that, but these, these old beams are huge. I may climb up on them here in just a second. So see y'all. All right, I, you can see I'm on top of the pile of of the uh, bridge beams here. They're probably five foot tall, and they're about 75 foot long, I'm estimating. And there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight going this way. What they, They've got them stacked this way, and then they've got them stacked this way, and then they got them stacked that way again. What they did, they, they crossed them. You can see down in there. Where the next one under that creep in Virginia is running north and south and these that I'm standing on are running east and west and there's no telling how many of them total are here but it is some kind of pile of concrete right here so you, you can see the size of them over there I mean they're 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 huge I mean this bridge went across the river the Tom Bigby River and so you got this stack that away and then up under it there's another stack that away it wasn't real easy to get up here but what i got up here i've got the cache hidden and got the coordinates for it but there's probably there's no telling how many of these things you see all the old rebar in them down through there but they just brought them and stacked them up right here and put them in here like this so i'm fixing to jump down i'm gonna get some pictures where i'm putting the cache listing so let me get on down see if i can get down without killing myself See, I can guarantee you, you don't get to see this stuff every day. And probably, well, only people who come up down the river up there here see it, get to see this. I mean, these be these beams are enormous. I mean, I'm I'm five nine. Flip the screen around so I can see what y'all are seeing. And you see, they're tall. They're almost taller than my head is. So I mean, these son of guns, they ain't no telling what they weigh and. What kind of crane they had to set these from the river over to here man these things are huge man huge big stack of them we'll jump on down one more one more level or let me see i'll go back and look and i'll tell the exact date of when it when this thing fell in but i think it was in 1980 i believe but i'll put it in the i'll put it in the listing I remember it, well no, it's a little bit earlier than that, because my granddaddy died in 80, and uh, he brought me down here when the bridge was 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 it was still in laying in the river with the big truck and the drag line and everything sitting on top of it, down in the water, and what they did, they took then and they put a uh, temporary bridge up, a kind of like a floating bridge across the river, because that, that, this bridge here is a main artery between Columbus and West Point when it fell in. It didn't kill the guy either. It, it hurt him pretty bad, but it didn't kill him. And they come in there and got the crane, got the big crane out and got the truck out and then removed the bridge. But they had them a mess. They had them a mess, but you can see this, all this concrete in here. I mean, it's just lots and lots. And this, this stuff here like this always has always intrigued me. 
just visiting places like this. It's the first time I've ever gotten out uh, to check it out. So I'm still testing out my kayak. You can see it right there with the trolling motor lifted on it. and It's performing very good. So I'm fixing to hop back in it. And I'm going on up here. Right up yonder is a uh, old Waverly Mansion Civil War uh, antebellum home up there. I'm probably not uh, about a mile and three quarter from it. I imagine it's right up that way. But fixing it up this way, so I'm gonna hop back in the boat. So I'll be back in a minute. So there's the trussle that turned. You can see it right there in the middle section right there see those wheels up under it i know the wind's probably bad but it's got to deal with it and that that ridge turned like that right there so that uh um an old steamboat could get through here man that, that would have been pretty cool to uh be able to actually witness something that large like that spinning but you can see that's where the barge hit it and knocked that end of that trussle down right there I'm not sure when that exactly happened. That's it. So I've got my GoPro running right here over my shoulder too. See how it, see how it does. But uh, pretty good stuff. So I'm fixing to start making my way back. I may get wet here in a minute, but that's all good. You can see those giant gears up under that thing, man. See that big old gear right there? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. 